Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show, I'm Cecil Laird. I mean, Fuego is here too. <laughs> here to do another trailer reaction for you guys, we're racking them up today. Um, we are doing another one coming to Netflix called Ghoul. Um, <laughs> Fuego and I both believe this is a foreign show that's coming to Netflix. Um, it already be on because this trailer is from like a month ago. <laughs> well, it says August 24th. So, oh, no, dope, so we're just ahead of it then. We're a little Sweet. ahead of it, so alright. Um, since we don't know anything about it, I say we jump right into it. The, the poster's dope, though, Fuego. If you want to Google the poster, feel free, but we'll watch yeah, the thing I, first. And and I'm pretty sure it's foreign. I know it's produced by some of the Blumhouse people, okay. Get Out, Insidious, whatnot. So, yeah, foreign cool. horror. I'm always intrigued by Prepare for Subtitles, I would imagine. So. All right, so, you ready? Yeah! All right, in three, two, one, go. Higher score. Yep. Higher score. Consistently top performer. Going beyond your duty, you have to make a sacrifice. Kiya. So this is like literature. Job career. Oh. You have to make a book of the money. You have to make a civilians or officers. Give a brave example. Thank you, sir. In some way, I have a confession. Is this an Indian film? I think so. What? <laughs> what does that mean? I do love my elongated jaws. Mm hmm Yeah, you do, dude. All right, August so. August 24th, like you said, man. Going back to the beginning, starting again. Okay. Um, all right, so, Fuego, your initial thoughts. Um, it's heavily stylized. It looks very creepy to me. I like just the, the decaying military installation type vibe. It takes me back to Day of the Dead. Um, but, yeah, this I, I love seeing this sort of approach from different areas of the world because I honestly do feel like Americans have become so tropey with these sort of stories now. And even just, I mean, even in Canada and a lot of Europe and stuff like that, I want to see, you know, the Asian perspective, the South American perspective. And, you know, this uh, this looks genuinely creepy to me, especially when dudes started talking about, you know, consuming the flesh and all that stuff. I was like, what? Yeah. So, yeah, this has a very... It's it's got a definitive vibe to it for me, man. This looks good. Yeah, reveal their guilt, eat their flesh. I love it. Yeah, it seems interesting. Um, I'm I'm definitely curious, but I, I wanted to see a little bit more on the carnage side, um, mm. to really sell me. You know, we got illusions, and it looks like it might be partly psycho psychological, which doesn't really land as well for me. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I I'd like to see another trailer that goes a little bit of a different route, if that's the case. Um, I might try uh. the first episode and see how it lands. So but, do we know for sure that it's a series and not a film? Yeah, uh, that's what it's... Uh, when I looked up the, the poster on Google, it said Netflix series 2018-whenever. Mm. That usually happens okay. when it's um, yeah, a series instead. So mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know. It doesn't It doesn't look like it's advertising as a series, though, does it? No, it's not giving me that impression. But I'm I'm curious either way, honestly. This is definitely something I would make some time for. And if, if it's a series, I would at least try a couple episodes and see if it hooks me, man. Yeah, so. me too. All right. Um, yeah, I mean, the cinematography looks okay. The effects look like they're going to be, you know, good practical stuff with uh, some digital um, manipulation at the end there with the elongated mm -hmm. jaw and everything. So it looks like it'll well, be a mixture. Yeah, and I like the scene where the girl is, like, pulled into the dirt, like, underpass, like, hole, whatever the hell you want to call it. I was right. like, that, that That I thought was genuinely creepy. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm digging the vibe of this, especially. I mean, at first it was giving me kind of an under the... I want to say Under the Gun or something, which may, maybe I'm mistaken the title, but it was an I Iranian film that uh, just really just gave this slightly demonic possession type vibe, and this is more militaristic instead, but nonetheless, yeah, this this looks cool to me. I, I definitely make some tap. Sweet. All right, well, why don't you guys let us know in the comments down below, are you going to make some time for Ghoul uh, when it's released mm -hmm. on Netflix? 
Uh, that's the nice thing. Netflix, I think, is bridging the gap for a lot more foreign things to be seen by Americans. Absolutely. Um, I think they're, they'll put it on, and by the time they realize, they're like, ah, I'll just give it a try. Um, and only the diehard anti-readers <laughs> uh, won't give it a try, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah well, you know, ignore that closed-mindedness, you know? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, so let us know in the comments down below what do you guys think of Ghoul. Uh, until next time, though, I've been Cecil Laird. Gracias, Oppenheimian. Fuego. And remember, stay, stay scared. scared.